Telecom here. Today I'm going to be reviewing one of my my extremely rare National Time T-Bar. Yep, it is a T-Bar. Just like this one. It's like a combination of these two. I have a Simplex T-Bar, but uh, I don't have the key to it. So it pulls like... So, you know, um, this thing... Uh, this thing is an RMS... One T, it pulls like this, and you can reset it with a hex wrench wherever I put my, wherever I put my hex key. E, let me check underneath my uh, projector. Oh, there it is. Found it. It was underneath my projector this whole time. So yeah. I basically, so yeah, it's reset like this, like this, I said it's reset like this, dang it, I said it is reset like that, so yeah, it's not spring loaded, so you basically have to push it back up, which is something all three of these pull stations have in common. This one, this one, and that one, which currently has the toggle in it. I mean, no toggle in it, which will probably have this one. So yeah, you basically pull it like this. Weirdly enough, it doesn't have a toggle switch in it. So yeah. So let me uh, pull all of them for you. See, that's the ESL. This is the um, Edwards, and this is my Nash National Time pull station. You know, it's called National. It's basically my National Time T bar. It basically works like um, like an RSG T bar. This is me fighting with this pull station. No, let's try this. I'm like literally fighting, fighting it with the hex wrench. So yeah, clicky button. We push this thing up. It it kind of hurts my thumb doing it. So yeah, we also have this. Edwards 270 SP SPO pull station in with with the same switch it's pulled like this yeah So yeah, now we have the Nash, the National, uh, so the na our National Time T-Bar. Look, this is our National Time T-Bar. Pulling case of fire, National Time. Look, here it is. Sorry about that. My, uh... Samsung tablet fell down. I was gonna say iPad, but it's not at since it's not Apple, it doesn't make any sense. Or dollars. So yeah, there we go. So what I mean by it doesn't by it doesn't have it in there. Yep, I'm holding it. So yeah, now it's time I um do now it's time for the unboxing of this or unclamshell packaging. It's pretty easy. E. Let me just uh, use the uh, screwdriver to pry that back open. So yeah. Let me just put the screwdriver there. It's a um, 
the product code is um zero three two zero seven six zero two one seven five seven. Let me see if I can pull it up on my uh computer. I'm back, and I've got the uh, barcode scanner. Uh, so let me pull up Notepad, Note. So yeah, let me just flip this around. So there we go. It's connected. So yeah, let's. I'll scan it. So yeah. This is the product code if you want it. This, once again, this is the product code if you want it. Or if you find it at hardware stores, etc. Yeah. Now anyways, back to the pole station. This is the new switch. That's getting in. I'm going to put in there. Let's just flip that off.
So yeah, let me just put this on off plate there since it won't tell us. So yeah, this is to promote Save the Old Schools. Now I must be very careful while make while making in the making of this video. So yeah. I can be this is basically a rare find. Um I like to call it the National Time T bar. Let me see if I know where my hex key is. Uh, I mean hex wrench is oh it's over there. Now it's time I pry this thing open. There we go. We close it, we flip the switch down. It's a six or a six hundred forty-one. I don't care, I just call it a T bar. Cause it's kinda like a T bar, an RSG T bar. Let me look one up for you. Fire Alarm C V trying to get to JJ Inc. 24's website. It's pretty cold, not gonna lie. Too many ads. Um, you have our aims. It looks like the American time and signals. Some ADT alarms. Our ADT unit mode 5. MZ co alarms. Okay, we have an Ansel. Now we have some Ansel. Oh, an Autocall. That's a rare find. We have our servers, Pyrotronic Siemens, some Couch, some EST 270 SPOs. Yeah, a lot of these guys. Let's see if I can find the RSGT bar. We have a. Um, So yeah, I'm just gonna try and find the RSGT bar, guys. The Firelight VG5, which I like to call all of them. I like to call the ones that look like a simplex T bar a T bar. Or cause they're that's one of the national time national time alarms. I've got we've got so much. Now our Potter, some RSGs. So yeah, the uh, it kind of works like the um the RMS. It's like an older version of the RMS One T, and probably even a uh, game well. C I T. Or maybe the game will FCI T bar. It looks like those two combined. Yeah, I'm talking about this, you know. Maybe later. Talking about. Yeah, it kind of looks like that guy. Which, yeah, this thing is pulled like this. You just do that, and now it's... Uh, now I have to uh, reset the system. Reset the pull station before resetting the system. By, like, pushing down and uh, prying this open. Flipping the switch back in the, um... In the normal position. 
and closing it. It literally looks addressable, but I think it's but as of SCR Safety's video, it's it's probably conventional. PSA I created in March, the month after demo after Bet's Elementary's demo. Demo stands is short for demolition. And, and unfortunately, so yeah, I may install this on one of my on a system for a system test. But the first system alarms are going to be. Let me get them real quick. BRB. I know it's going to be fast, but yeah. You guys did realize that it took a while for me. Yeah, these are going to be the f these alarms are going to be the first in my system test since they're at the um which is going to be my school fire alarm system. Yes, they do have a horn only, but this is the closest I have. And this is one of my BG12s. I mean 10s. Sorry. Can become a BG 10 X just yeah so like yeah they literally these guys have the same switch installed except yeah came out of this clamshell packaging so whatever so thanks for watching as usual like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching bye